when I first moved to LA, uh, I was invited to this mansion party, which in LA is pretty like typical. But I didn't know that at the time. I was just moving there. My friend of mine told me we had to meet in in the parking lot of this grocery store and like cars are gonna meet us and take us up the hills, but it was like a secret location. We weren't allowed to know where it was at. This is already weird. I'm already like, what is this? But I'm going with it. It's Hollywood, it's LA. I'm just getting here. I just wanna have fun. We go to the parking lot of this Ralph's, which is the grocery store in LA. This white van pulls up. They blindfold us. It was about 20 or 30 of us that were, you know, that all showed up at the same time. I guess they were like carpooling people up to this mansion. I don't know where they were taking us. It seemed like it took forever to get there, but I think they were just trying to make us dizzy so we wouldn't remember where we were going. So we get there and they're filming a DVD and it was being hosted by, um, it was being hosted by E-40 and Yuck Mouth and Ron Jeremy. <laughs> so we get we get there and like I never seen anything like this in my life it was just like it was all it was like half the room was porno stars and then like maybe a fourth of the room were people who were like me and just maybe got the email invite and was somebody's plus one and then the other fourth of the room were just people who like worked in entertainment primarily hip-hop so the whole night I'm meeting people in such random instances so I see Reggie Bush at this party and I was just, it was pretty, it was pretty interesting because I'm a big sports fanatic. I wanted to talk his ear off about like sports, but he was, you know, he was doing what he was doing, he was doing his thing. Because I would always watch him on TV and be like, yo, you know, I met Reggie Bush. We're like, nah, I'm like, no, I met him at that, that weird mansion party that we were at. And people still don't believe me to this day, but like, I, it, I, I watch enough ESPN to know who I was talking the wildest thing that I saw at that party, they had a, a, a oral sex Olympics that um, Ron Jeremy did by the pool. Uh, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen in, in my life, actually. So it was like guys volunteering themselves to get oral sex from porn stars. It had no real purpose to me. It just felt like we just want to showcase these women giving guys oral sex. The guys would give like a rating like so like a girl would have to like do three four different people and those guys it was almost like american idol yes next round yes next round no that type of thing and then when it got to the finals there was an actual like number given like who's better and i don't even remember how like they selected the dudes i don't think they were like porn stars or anything i think they were just regular dudes from the party i think red man Posted that joint too. For some reason, Red Man was there. I remember Red Man being there. Too. The story sounds better than like being there. It was like being there was weird for a second. So that's why they kept giving you drinks, kept giving, you know, everybody smoking. Like they were trying to make people feel more comfortable. Mind you, like you're being filmed. Like there's these little disclaimers on every single wall. So I'm like, yo, I'm not doing nothing. I don't know where there's a camera. I'm not doing anything here. You know, it just seemed too good to be true. You know what I'm saying? 